What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and welcome to Four Seasons Private Jet Experience. this 24-day timeless encounters adventure. We're gonna be traveling from Oahu to Bora Bora before heading off to Sydney, Australia, Bali, Thailand, and then Dubai, Florence, and ending the trip in London, England. This is a trip that will take you on the Four Seasons private jet, a bespoke jet that has been outfitted to match the Four Seasons brand, and it's gonna comfortably bring you from each part of the destination throughout this 24-day journey. Every destination includes its own suite of activities. Some of them are more action-packed and more physically demanding, whereas others are a lot more relaxed, where you just gotta have a nice, quiet lunch and enjoy a view like this. This experience is like no other, and it really is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see the world in the most amazing way possible. Of course, throughout this trip, I'm really excited to visit some new tropical destinations that I've never been to before, trying out the local cuisines, seeing all the Four Seasons properties around the world that embrace the architecture of the culture around it but of course the star of the show here is the four seasons private jet from the striking exterior with four seasons proudly displayed on the outside the journey across the world takes place on their new airbus 321 neo lr that provides maximum comfort and the range needed for flights on this trip like nine hours all these seats are handcrafted, individually made white leather. The seats are obviously very comfortable, but you have a ton of space to be able to sit on the bench in front of you, a lot of storage throughout, and there's also plenty of entertainment on the iPads that show you the route on your journey, the different excursions and the hotel that you're going to be staying at, also a whole bunch of movies and TV shows. The service is also really like no other. The flight attendants are always around to bring you exactly what you need. It's a very customized experience, and just having the casual conversation with the crew is just so amazing as you build these friendships throughout the trip. So what are some of the amenities that you're going to find at your seat? Beginning with the entertainment, you have noise canceling headphones, an exclusive Four Seasons duffel bag, some merchandise, a journal, a hat, an amenity kit, and at each stop of the journey, you've got a postcard that you can send back home. Just like the flight itself, every detail here has been considered. You have like eight buttons right here in terms of how you can customize your seat. So if you want to recline or just move back completely, you can. But of course, there's also sitting between the bench and just doing some work because you do have Wi-Fi on board, but also getting a little bit of rest. All of the meals on the private jet were also carefully prepared by executive chef Carrie Sear who travels along on the entire journey and sources local fresh ingredients in every stop of the trip. Honestly, the meals that we've had on this trip have been the best that I've ever had in a flight experience. So in the Sky Lounge, you're gonna find a fully stocked bar, some snacks at all times. What's great about the experience beyond the comfort though is that you know everyone on the flight. So whether you wanna go and hang out with some guests or chat with the crew, it really made the flights go by very quickly. Now that we've introduced the jet, let's start the journey at Four Seasons Resort, Oahu. Hawaii is always a wonderful place to visit because there is something for everyone. Whether you want a relaxing vacation or you want an adventure-packed week, the amazing hospitality, culture, and great food made this the perfect starting place for this journey. The room service offerings at Four Seasons Koalina really give you a ton of variety. From the fresh ingredients of the lobster roll and Buddha bowl to the traditional Japanese breakfast, I tried everything as we enjoyed the grounds and also filled up this week with a ton of activities. Before knew it, it was time for the welcome cocktail at the presidential suite. Here we enjoyed an incredible sunset, met the other guests, enjoyed some champagne and some small bites, and took in this amazing view of the coastline before heading off to dinner. The next day was busy with two hikes, and we started with the sunrise hike with a traditional experience here.
This was wrapped up by a great local lunch on the farm before heading up to the mountains for sunset where the light rain was the perfect backdrop for a moody scene that was very different from the earlier hike. The local guide taught us about the vegetation, wildlife, and everything we needed to know about the plants in this forest. With Hawaii being all about adventures, we took advantage of every excursion that Four Seasons Private Jet Experience offered on this stop. So the next morning, it was time to play a round of golf, and I always really enjoy playing in Hawaii. This course was just a couple minutes away from the resort. As soon as we wrapped up the 18th hole, staff was waiting at the front of the golf course to take us directly to our next excursion, which was a helicopter tour. Having gone on many different helicopter tours, the Hawaii experience is always very unique and the fact that you learn so much about the different stories between all of the Hawaiian islands. This busy day was followed by the welcome dinner on the lawn, where Four Seasons showcased their incredible display of decoration, traditional music and performances that are unique to the region, along with a fresh and traditional meal that highlighted the seafood specifically in Hawaii. After an amazing time in Hawaii, it was time to pack up our bags and head to the next stop. So after a five hour flight, we landed in Tahiti and were greeted by the locals at the airport. It's my first time in French Polynesia and for this stop, I chose to just relax a little bit after an action packed Hawaii stop. It was a warm and sunny day, but I'm really excited to check into my overwater bungalow, which I was really looking forward to on this trip. Each bungalow has everything you need, with panoramic views of the water, direct access with a dock, this gorgeous bathtub, and your own deck. These tropical destinations just have an amazing view any time of day, but after settling in my room, it's time to explore for a bit. After getting comfortable and exploring the grounds, it was time to head to Four Seasons Bora Bora Residences for their welcome party. After having some drinks, trying some small bites, there was a surprise performance waiting for the guests. The next morning, I was up bright and early because I had ordered a canoe breakfast, which literally arrives by canoe, hence its name, with a combination of traditional dishes as well as your own personal selections for breakfast. It's all set up right in front of you as you enjoy this crazy view of the mountain. So after breakfast, the experience that I chose in Bora Bora was snorkeling. On the way there, our guide played us music, there were drinks and snacks on board, and after a short ride, we arrived at our spot and you can just see everything before you even get off the boat. Whether it was relaxing, sightseeing, going paddleboarding, kayaking, Four Seasons Bora Bora was everything and more. You can enjoy what this place has to offer from the resort or from the comfort of your own room. On the last day, there was a sunset cocktail cruise before flying off to our next destination the following morning. After saying goodbye to everyone at Bora Bora, it was time to board the Four Seasons private jet once again as the staff was there to greet us on the tarmac. Beyond the beautiful jet itself and the amazing team that travels around the world with you, what I really love about this experience so far is just how seamless everything is. Luggage is all taken care of and the wait in between stops at airports is as minimal as possible and any documents possible are filled out beforehand. So here we are in Sydney, Australia. A lot of Sydney reminds me of home. The room design was minimalist and modern. Four Seasons Sydney is located in the middle of downtown with a direct view of the opera house and just steps away from the boardwalk and beautiful views. The welcome reception at the Grain Bar featured some special guests including a baby kangaroo, a koala, with the wide selection of drinks, some great local food and desserts, as well as live music. It was a great way to kick off this stop in Australia, along with some of the excursions that we've signed up for here.
The next morning, I was out and about to just check out the Sydney Harbour, and what's great about the itinerary of the Four Seasons private jet is that all of the time factors have been considered. The length of flight, the order of each stop, the time changes are all to reduce and minimize any effects of jet lag throughout this 24-day journey. So at this point of the trip, we've taken off from Hawaii before heading off to Bora Bora, and those are places that are very similar, whereas now we're in a big city like Sydney, What's great about this itinerary is that you're able to pick different activities in each of the stops. But in Sydney, we've chosen to just kind of hang out a little bit, walk around, see the surroundings and landmarks that are so close to the hotel. And so being able to just chill out for a few days is what makes this whole expedition that lasts 24 days super fun. And we have a really fun lunch that is lined up tomorrow, which we can't wait to show you. One of the excursions that we've chosen is to have a nice lunch at Cottage Point. We took a 20 minute seaplane over the different islands and the cliffs and it was absolutely beautiful. And we've landed at Cottage Point where we took a boat to the restaurant for a private lunch. The whole experience honestly is just perfect. It's just so quiet, calm and serene over here that it really adds to the experience along with the tasting. After being pleasantly surprised by Sydney, it was time for our last trip onto the jet to a long-awaited destination, Bali. One of the most exciting destinations of this trip was Bali, a popular destination for creatives, but one that I've never visited before. So as we touched down, local police were waiting there to escort us straight to Four Seasons Ubud in Siam, which also happens to be the cover of the Discover Four Seasons magazine. So here we are in Bali at Four Seasons Siam, the number one resort in the world, nestled in the mountains of Ubud. You can see here, we're surrounded by nature and greenery, and it really showcases the best of what Bali is known for. Some of the excursions that you can choose from in Bali include rafting, as well as a tour of ancient temples. I've really chosen to just take it easy here, enjoy the pool, try some of the most amazing food that I've ever had. There is just so much to see within the resort itself, and it's just so exciting to be able to explore a place like this and what it has to offer over the next few days. So this is a stop that I was truly excited about. Having a private plunge pool and a view of the jungle as soon as you wake up in the morning. This is my own pond, an area to relax, located right above my villa. I've truly never seen anything like this. And being able to relax and enjoy this view and hearing the nature is what makes this resort truly unique. From the overwater bungalow in Bora Bora to the private villa in Bali, these are truly some of the resorts that really showcase how unique Four Seasons is as a brand. From having your own backyard to a view of the lush vegetation and palm trees to your own plunge pool and outdoor shower, I mean, what more could you want? Four Seasons Cyan also had some of the most incredible and welcoming staff, and the food experience was also one that was unique and of its own. Throughout this journey, you get to enjoy so many different cuisines. Food is just such an enriching part of the world travel experience. The excursions that we chose in Bali included the ancient temple tour, as well as a bike tour through the rice fields. At the ancient temples, we were able to learn a lot more about the locals and their culture, as we also got to experience the architecture that has been preserved in its exact and original form. We also learned about how welcoming Indonesians are to both visitors and cultures from around the world, as well as to religions. This day was wrapped up with a bike ride through the rice field before enjoying some coconut water and getting ready for the farewell dinner before we head off to the next destination. So thank you for joining us on this four season's private jet experience around the world. This has just been such a crazy way to be able to see the world, as well as Four Seasons' unique properties and experiences along the way, while having a very seamless journey in the most comfortable way possible. This journey then went on to Chiang Mai and then Dubai before arriving in a familiar place, Four Seasons Hotel Firenze. I had some amazing memories here as part of the inaugural drive experience, also with Four Seasons where we drove Ferraris through Tuscany and visited some of the most famous wineries in the world. If you want to learn more about these experiences and the many other unique journeys that Four Seasons offers throughout the year, make sure to click the link in the description section below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and a huge thanks to Four Seasons for having us on this experience and I'll see you all in the next one.